All right. So welcome. My name is Rebecca Cosby, and I am the Outreach Specialist for the Early Childhood Education Program. Um, and I am also a um, I'm also a graduate of our Early Childhood Education Program at North. And so I'm here tonight to share with you a little bit about our program. So a general overview of our program, we are uh, operating through North Seattle College. Um, and we are here to support current and future educators of young children um, who want to build inclusive and high support early childhood programs for students and their families. Um, early childhood education focuses on the learning and development for children ages birth through eight years, um, usually in the state of Washington, um, that is generally focused on birth to five, uh, but we do go through eight years in terms of development and learning. At North Seattle College for Early Childhood Education, we offer certificates. We also offer a an Associate of Applied Science degree, and we also have a Bachelor of Applied Science degree. Um, we are a high support program. Uh, we do all of our advising within the Early Childhood Education Program. And so you are in contact with someone from the day you're interested all the way until you graduate. Um, we are here to help you find funding options. We are here to help you find places to volunteer or even apply for work. Um, we are here to answer questions and give you advice on what classes to take next. And we're also here to help you figure out what certificate or degree you want to work towards, depending on your career goals and uh, what you're interested in. So again, we are offered through North Seattle College, but we no longer do in-person classes for early childhood education. Uh, we only do virtual and fully online courses. Um, on the associate level, um, people will take a combination of fully online and virtual. And on the bachelor's level, you will choose if you're going to be fully online or virtual. But we'll talk about that a little bit in a minute. Uh, most of our virtual classes are offered weekdays uh, in the evenings, one to two nights per week, which means that it is great for students who work part or full time. And in fact, most of our students are already working in the field and many of them are working full time and still coming through our program. So we're really built for students who are um, already in the field and who are working with young children. So you will learn a variety of skills and areas of knowledge throughout our program. Um, a few of the things that you'll learn about are um, things like child development. How do children develop uh, what are the stages of development that children go through? Um, how do we support those areas of development? You'll also learn uh, best practices for teaching young children. How do we connect with children? Um, how do we present uh, learning opportunities for young children? Uh, you'll also learn about culturally relevant teaching practices. The state of Washington is um, becoming more and more diverse as time goes on. And that means that we have families and students who um, are from a variety of different backgrounds, different countries, um, different languages, different cultural values and practices. And so as early educators, it's our job to really connect with those families and make sure that the ways that we're teaching and connecting with students and families is um, culturally respectful and also relevant. We want to make sure that things are uh, meaningful for young children and their families. Throughout the program, you will also learn a little bit about the history and the philosophies in early childhood education. Um, you'll learn a little bit about 
the different curriculum that is used depending on um, what you're interested in or what school you go and uh, work with. Um, things like Montessori education, um, you'll learn a little bit about Waldorf. Uh, the program in general is more focused on play-based education, but we do recognize that uh, there are many different approaches to teaching young children. Uh, our program is also focused on practical education. These are applied science degrees, which means that uh, you are using this um, education, you're using these classes in your own early childhood environment. Um, so it's a really hands-on opportunity uh, for learning. And it also means that you are practicing the things that you learn about right away. Um, you're automatically bringing them into the classroom and supporting young children. Throughout the program, you will also learn, of course, from other professionals in early childhood education. We have people who are just coming into early childhood education. We have people who have been in education for 20 plus years. Um, we have people who are assistant teachers, who are aides, volunteers. And then we also have people who are seasoned teachers, people who are coaches. Um, directors of programs. We have um, everybody in very different areas of the field um, who come into our programs. And so you really get to have an idea of the many things that you can do in early childhood education, and you get to learn from their previous experiences. Uh, we focus on anti-bias and anti-racist education in our programs. Uh, we believe that in order to provide meaningful education for young children, we really need to work on um, breaking down racist and biased practices um, and building communities that value inclusion and diversity. And we not only teach that in the classrooms, uh, but we also practice that as a department. Um, and we work to create more access for our students. One of the big things that you'll learn uh, throughout the program is also um, self-reflection. How do we reflect on our practices um, in order to change them to be more relevant, to be more meaningful, to be more um, engaging for young students? So we're gonna talk a little bit about the education pathway. And there are kind of two different camps. The first one is uh, for certificates and the Associate of Applied Science degree. Um, so these are self-paced programs. So you get to choose if you wanna take one class at a time, you can take a full load if you would like. Um, you get to choose how many credits you take at a time depending on your own schedule and how you learn. Um, so it can take as little as two years to get an associate degree, but it could also take as long as you want. Um, we've had some people take a few years to get their associate degree, and we've had people who really get it into. Um, so it really depends on what you want to do. Um, you can also choose if you're going to do um, you know, part-time or full-time school, depending on um, your funding, depending on, um, again, your work schedule, whatever. Um, students have the potential to start working right away in our associate program. Um, and we'll get into that a little bit, a little bit later about the requirements in the state of Washington to work with young children. Um, but we do have practicum classes in both our associate and bachelor's degrees. And a practicum class is when you will go into a classroom or an early learning environment, and you'll actually begin working with children. On the associate level, it really focuses on building relationships with students and families and how building positive relationships impacts uh, more academic learning. Um, and so, 
We have some people, again, who are already working, but you can also choose to volunteer if you would rather do that. Um, and we have a tool available if you don't already have a site. We have a tool that we can share. It gives you an idea of what programs in the area are looking for people. And again, we have a combination of online and virtual classes um, that students can choose from depending on their own schedule. Uh, for the bachelor's degree, we have a cohort model and we also have um, six quarters of bachelor's classes. And so what that means is that you will come in to the bachelor's program and you'll be put in a cohort in a group of other students. And you will go through every bachelor's level class with those same people for six quarters. And so that's split over two years with summers off. Everybody loves summers off. Um, and then that way you are building community within your cohort, even if you're not in person, sitting next to the person. Um, and so that can really help um, encourage people to finish their bachelor degree. So with our cohort model, you won't take a combination of online and virtual classes. You'll actually choose if you want to take online classes or virtual classes. So if you choose to do online on either the associate or bachelor's degree, that means that you will be working independently um, on our online learning platform. It's called Canvas. And you will do your weekly assignments on Canvas. Um, that's typically um, a discussion post. So you'll just you'll post in a discussion board and you'll usually reply to a couple of students and they'll reply to yours um, and it'll kind of begin some dialogue around the topic of the week. And then you'll also submit any other assignments that the instructor assigns. Uh, if you choose to do a virtual class, uh, that will be one to two nights per week. Most of our classes are offered in the evenings. We have some classes each quarter that are offered on Saturdays. Um, and those will have at least one required meeting time each week. And that's when you'll meet with your instructor over Zoom and you will um, hear from them. You'll hear a lecture and you'll also um, engage in discussions with your classmates um, instead of doing that on Canvas. Then you will also have your weekly um, writing assignments or other assignments and projects that um, that will be assigned by your instructor. In the bachelor's degree, it is not self-paced because it's a cohort model. Everything is already planned out for you. So you'll take 10 credits per quarter. So that's still less than full-time. Uh, 12 credits is full-time on a quarter model. Um, and we choose which classes you're going to take. And that's already mapped out for you for all six quarters. There are a few prerequisites for the bachelor's program. In order to come in, in order to apply, you need to have at least 70 college level credits by the time cohort begins. So if you're applying in January and you plan to take classes all the way up until September and you don't have 70 college level credits yet, that's okay. Just as long as you have 70 college level credits by the time um, classes begin in September, you're good. Um, we also require that our students take English 101. Um, and if you're coming from a different college for a bachelor's degree, that might look a little different. Um, this is also called composition one. Some schools label it differently. So make sure to check in with us if you have any questions about whether or not your English course, your college level English course um, will work for that requirement. Some of the other prerequisites that we have are um, early childhood education courses, and that includes health, safety, and nutrition. That's where we go over um, 
health, safety, and nutrition. We go over some of the licensing guidelines and best practices for um, encouraging healthy habits for young children and how we create safe environments for them. We also require um, child development and guiding behavior. Um, we also um, require students to take curriculum development where you'll learn how to um, create learning opportunities for young children and how those will meet different developmental areas for young children. And then environments talks about um, how to design both indoor and outdoor spaces to meet the needs of children. And child, family, and community is the last prerequisite. Um, and that's really about connecting with young children um, and their families and learning about how they function within the context of, of the broader community and society and their cultures. Oh my, oh my, hold on just a second. There we go. So here is a layout of how our certificates and degrees all work together. In the state of Washington, we have what's called the stackable certificates. And essentially, each of the certificates leads into the next until you get to an associate degree and then a bachelor's degree. So we suggest students who are coming into the associate program, we suggest that they start with this initial certificate. This is 12 credits. It is the equivalent to what is called a CDA. Um, the initial certificate or the CDA is required for um, people who want to be assistant teachers in child care programs in the state of Washington. Um, this can be done in as little as one quarter if you want to take all 12 credits at the same time. After getting your initial certificate, um, you can work towards your short certificate of specialization. This is an additional eight credits, so it's 20 credits altogether, and you will take a combination of classes. Um, so first you'll take child development, and then you can choose what you're going to specialize in for this certificate. You can do a general certification, um, which is for a broad range of um, environments and, and job opportunities. And that would be taking um, child development in guiding behavior. Or you can do infants and toddlers. You can focus on administration. So things like um, being an assistant director or a director. Um, you can also specialize in after school care, which uh, would mean you take school age care. And the last one is family home child care. So the short certificate in the state of Washington is required for um, lead teachers in licensed facilities. Um, it is also a requirement for um, home child care providers. And then once you get those 20 credits, you can um, go for your state certificate. And your state certificate includes these two certificates plus all of these classes. So this is when most people do English 101. You'll also take um, a, a college level math class, and then you'll take all of these classes. And you'll see some of these classes also have um, a little asterisk ne next to them. Classes with an asterisk are prerequisites for the bachelor's degree. So you'll see that for the initial, the short, and the state certificate, they all have some amount of classes with those asterisks. Um, so once you get through your state certificate, if you have enough credits, you will have all of your prerequisites to come into the bachelor's program as well. So once you get your state certificate, you will have 47 credits, and then you get to start working on your associate degree. Um, you'll also notice that as we move up, there are more and more general education classes, things like math, 
um, English, uh, sociology classes, communications, things like that. And so we start incorporating those a little bit more for folks. This is when you get to choose some of your classes. They're not requirements. You get to choose 11 credits of electives out of these, out of this list down here. And so you get to get a little, a little more um, specialized information um, for your own interests and for your own practices. So an associate degree is 90 credits. And that means that for your associate, you'll be adding on about 43 more credits. And then you get your associate degree. And in the state of Washington, you can do a lot of different things with an associate of applied science. Um, most schools, most programs will ask for lead teachers to have an associate degree at least. I mean, it really opens up doors for you to get paid more um, and to be able to do more interesting things with your career. If you're interested in continuing on, uh, we have a bachelor's of applied science degree. And a bachelor's degree is 180 credits. Um, and so you add several more credits onto your associate degree. You double it essentially. And of course this includes even more general education classes, um, but it also includes these classes that dig deeper into early childhood education and what it really means to be an educator um, and providing high quality education. So we spoke a little bit about the different careers and jobs that um, are available depending on the certificate or degree that you choose to go for. Um, but here are a few more that are pretty common um, for folks with um, associate degrees and or bachelor's degrees. Teaching is the most common, um, especially for folks with certificates or associate degrees. But once you get, um, and also coaching, but once you get a bachelor's degree, doors open up for so many different opportunities. Um, you can work in advocacy and really working on increasing access, increasing pay, um, really bringing professionalization into our field. Um, there's also some work in philanthropy and um, really increasing the funding for programs, uh, for access, things like that. Um, in the state of Washington, um, we have a licensing program that programs go through. And so with a bachelor's degree, you can also become a licensor in the state. Um, which means that you are helping uh, programs through that they're meeting um, these common goals. You can also be an evaluator, um, which means that you are um, helping programs meet certain quality standards. Um, in the state of Washington, that means that you're helping them get additional funding through a program called Early Achievers, which is a really great opportunity for programs, and it gives teachers an opportunity to access special grants that actually pay for their school, which is great. Um, and then some folks go on to be coaches. And so those are people who are working hand in hand with schools and teachers and um, helping them meet the needs of their students and their families. So we're gonna watch a really quick video. Um, this is a video of some of our alumni and some of our faculty sharing a little bit more about our early childhood education program. It has changed my life. It really, it really has changed my life. It's um, helped me to figure out what I want to do in five years. It's helped me figure out what I want to do in 10 years. Honestly, I've been to a plethora of colleges, unfortunately, and I felt the most supported and the most heard when I went to North Seattle College. Everything that I learned in the program, I could apply it right away. 
They understand the needs of their community and they are constantly going out into their community to find out what other needs need to be met. Traditionally, we've been considered babysitters and, you know, child care workers, but the field is professionalizing. There are a lot more people coming back for degrees and certificates. Many people believe that because it is children that they don't need to have um, any information, um, any history, no any theories, don't have a foundation. And, you know, they'll even say, well, they're just children. No, they're not just children. They're future citizens of the United States of America and future citizens of the world. We're very authentic. Um, I think that's a word that resonates um, often in, in how this program's um, shared with other people. I think there's a very much honoring the, the student's style of, of learning, but also um, their style of teaching. Our administrative support is so strong. Um, we have a BAS program manager as well as an associates program manager that work very closely together that provide advising support for students. Right away, they have a point of contact that they can work with right at the beginning. And that works with them up until they start the classes. And once they start the classes, that advising piece is with them the whole time. We all want to see you thrive in this work and we do whatever we can do to make sure that you have the support you need, that you are getting the education you need um, in the way that you need it. No matter what language you speak, no matter your current education levels, no matter where you're working um, and what it is that you're doing, if your goal is to get a bachelor's degree, we are all here to help you meet that goal. Just thinking about the faculty we have in North is just loving, caring, and supportive. Well, we like our students. And, and then it goes beyond like, we love them. And so that love becomes an action word. And you see the action in the kind of program that we have. So being able to walk in and say, hey, we got you. I believe in you. I trust you. That is what students are looking for. You know, a lot of people recruitment strategies are just, this is what we offer, have a great day. We're totally different. I'm like, this is not only what we offer, but this is what we see in you. This is why we want you to join our family. We're invested in the students and ultimately we want to see them graduate. We want to see them be successful in their careers and in the future. Teachers from our program um, really are walking away with these, these skills this knowledge and this understanding to be able to lead the field in a direction that I don't think it's ever gone before. Like they have an intent to make this field better um, and not just for students, but it, it, we know that it trickles down to the children and the families and the community at large. So there's a little bit about our program and kind of how it has impacted um, the lives of teachers. So um, now I'm going to open it up for any questions, um, you know, any any pieces of, of interest, um, but we also have you know, a lot of opportunities for people to reach out for us. We have some email addresses that, that you can use if you have questions later as well. Um, so yeah, any questions about this? All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead. 